I am so excited right now. Look who stole the weighted blanket already. with just mental struggles. Welcome to Vlogmas Day. I don't know, I've lost track, <laughs> but welcome. Just made up our bed in our guest room for the first time ever, actually, our first guest. Well, Hannah's actually stayed here before, but in my room with me since Max was away. Now we finally have our guest room. <laughs> I was gonna say all set up, literally a bed, that's it. Max just put together the new bed frame underneath because the old one that was here before was broken. So we did that. I got a mattress topper for the mattress so it's a little more comfy. Just put together the bed. This has been a storage room, as you can tell, so I gotta put all these in our closet and finish unpacking like jackets and shoes and stuff so she has room, but looking good. This will do for the next couple months if anyone needs to stay here. It'll be nice and cozy. Tried to unpack in the closet a little bit. Basically just threw everything in there. I'm like, eh, I'll organize more later. I can't. It's so hard the balance of like wanting to be settled, but I also don't want to buy like a bunch of more shoe racks and stuff for legit like four more months of being here, you know, and then I'm just gonna have to pack up everything and move it again. So I don't know. Whatever I'm feeling as subtle as I possibly can. Okay, that would get to a little unboxing since while I was away. Got a bunch of packages. Let's just go rapid fire. A lot I ordered and I know what it is. I think I know what everything is. Let's jump on in. Okay, let's do this first. Hope the address is showing. Although we really are only here quickly, so I guess if you found out where we live, whatever. Okay, I really hope this fits. I'm gonna keep the receipt just in case. Basically, I've always seen this brand called Same, and they do those rose bikinis. I wanna say they like started it, I don't know. I feel like it's now been a trend. This is already way more cream than I'm thinking. I thought it was more like white, but that's okay. Hopefully it's like cute and flattering and everything. These bottoms are kind of big, but I'm sure they'll be good on. Um, I think I got a medium because it said it runs small, size up if anything. So I was even like, oh my gosh, should I get a large? I feel like normally I would get a small, medium, and a bikini, just kind of depending. But it does look like really thin and kind of skimpy. But I feel like this will be cute, hopefully. And I'm going on a little trip somewhere warm in January. I don't think I've even mentioned that yet. Wow, this is like very creamish, tannish though. Like really not white. So hopefully we like, I'll try this on soon. Yeah, very like thin and... I wish it was like a little more covered than I thought, but hopefully it's good. And also I was just thinking it's good that it's kind of more of a cream, definitely warm toned because I saw my Instagram when I was just on the trip with Buick. We all had like a color analysis and she was like, you are true autumn. If you guys know anything about that, they do by like season and basically very like warm toned, like warm toned things look good on me, which I was so nervous that she was going to be like silver jewelry because like so much of my jewelry is gold. I kind of mix like this is silver and gold. Obviously my ring is like a yellow gold band. So I was so scared she was gonna be like silver and I was gonna be like uh oh but she said gold and that like warm tone things look best on me like beiges stuff like that more than like a true white so maybe this is for the best of its cream we'll see okay I just talked about that for so long I'm trying to go rapid fire here I feel like I always talk way too long when I'm opening packages here are the scissors mm. and now or if you don't know this is always my most favorite package to open 
from Loving Tan. I'm just so excited right now because they are my favorite self tanner ever. Uh oh. Looks like some spilled a little. Oh, but it doesn't look bad inside at all. Like it doesn't look like anything spilled. That's funny, it's just on there. But like none of these look like they leaked at all. Huh. Oh, my favorites. You know what I've been using recently is the Chicago Express because I've been too lazy to let it sit for a while. So this has been like my go-to recently, but their platinum is their newest. You get really, really tan. The shimmer I love for like an event or going out. Wait, that is so funny that there's like tanner on the package because none of these even look like they leaked or anything. So weird. New mitt. Always need a new one of those. But the real reason, you know, you know, I like getting packed from them is because they'll throw in Tim Tams. Max, you know that's why this is my favorite package to open, right? Loving tan, remember what comes in it? Yeah. Uh, Hint it. Uh, chocolate? Yeah, kinda. It's an Australian brand. Remember what they're called, the things that they throw in? Uh, yeah, uh, oh, wrong? No, but similar, it starts with a T. What is that? A Tim Tam. <laughs> I'll split my cookie with you. Wow, you must really love. Wow. Wow. You like it? Uh, no. Pretty good, huh? Thank you, Loving Tan. Love you. This is the only one I didn't know what it was. What is this? Lego? We might have got a Lego package. What the heck? What the heck? I have never gotten PR from Lego. Happy holidays. <laughs> Wants to give you something special this year. The gift of joy. Joy of play. Joy time spent together. Joy of building. In close, please find new festive Lego sets to help bring extra cheer into your home this holiday season. You. Oh, we also invite you to join in helping pass on the joy of play to those most in need in our annual Build to Give initiative. The Lego group is encouraging families to use their creativity to build a heart from Lego bricks. Share on social media. Turn the Lego. will donate to Lego set to child in need. We'll play with our charity partners. Oh my gosh. This is so sweet. <laughs> Cute. Oh, it's all wrapped up like presents. You want to play Legos, honey? Okay, I honestly skimmed this. I hope. What if I'm supposed to give away the ones that are wrapped? Okay. <laughs> I wish I left these wrapped if I'm gonna like give them away. Now I want to put it to the side. I could always rewrap. Aw, a Lego notebook. Cute. That's what I'm so excited for. Woo! You guys didn't know. A wood is my most favorite sweat ever. This is their vintage gray crew neck. Oh yeah, in a size medium. I actually have two hoodies in a large from L, but I feel like they run oversized to begin with. So I'd say the large kind of fits like an extra large or even bigger. So I went down to a medium in this one, which I would say this looks like a large. So yeah, definitely oversized maybe. Like I always go to a large to have an oversized hoodie, but then it was really oversized. So maybe you like oversized go down one size. <laughs> if that's helpful. But L is my favorite. If I have a discount code with them still, I will link it down below in the description because this would make such a good gift you guys okay then i also got some other tees shout out to sydney adams my friend sydney had this t-shirt on in hawaii and i was like okay that looks like such a good like high quality basic tee like where is that from she was like elwood like our favorite sweats they also have the best tees and i'm like why have i not tried out their t-shirts got a white one also i hope everyone's ignoring i got pesto on my sweater i feel like there's stains all over the sweatshirt please ignore yay this one looks so good this also kind of looks like a vintage gray color Oh yeah, that one is called Vintage Gray too. Then last but not least, also the tee in black. I also got these t-shirts in medium because again, they're like oversized. These are gonna be the best t-shirts to throw on. Really high quality, just nice. I loved how the neckline looked kind of like distressed. I don't know if you can see. I thought it just looked like really nice and expensive. And these I also got in a size medium. And last but not least, if you can read this, knit weighted blanket, 15 pounds. Okay, I heard about these Helix knit weighted blanket soothing feel breathable design jersey knit fabric I am so excited right now. My friend has this one from Helix you guys and was literally raving about it the other day I cannot wait. I feel like weighted blankets became such a thing a couple years back and I had one and I don't know what happened to it and I need this because recently I've been extra anxious at night <laughs> That's what I say like my head hits the pillow and I'm like so I get so much anxiety when I lay down on it I don't know why it's like the worst time like I can't calm down and I literally was saying to him like I need to wait a blanket 
it. This is gonna be so good for me. You guys know what he likes? Oh, this is so nice. Helix is my favorite mattress company. Our mattresses are Helix. They are the most freaking comfortable mattresses ever. Also, I love my Helix pillows. They're very comfortable as well. This is amazing. I'm gonna go lay under it and be like, oh. <laughs> thank you, Helix. Okay, wow. So everything I got in the mail, I can link these things if I can find the links for them down below in the description. Sorry, that was so long. I want it to be quick. I think they got enough blankets going on. <laughs> Can't move. Look, I stole the weighted blanket already. These two. You think he likes it? <laughs> he just has a floating head right now. Both of you do. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Like, do you like the feeling of the weighted on you? Yeah, I feel like this one's not that, not too heavy. Doesn't feel too heavy? I know, I feel like there's like 20 pound ones yeah. sometimes. It's crazy because it is so heavy when you pick it up, but when it's all laid out across you, like on each. That's still nice. Yeah, like each part of your body doesn't feel too heavy. Mm -hmm. I like it. Just got back. My battery died right as I was saying in the car. Just got back from hot yoga. As you can tell, that's disgusting. Oh, it was really hot, really good. Brody bringing me a sneaker. the next morning and you guys saw last night after hot yoga we actually went to a restaurant called nola's i think it's my new favorite around here it was our first time and it was so good their food was literally delicious then this morning i just did a little hair mask having a self-care moment wash my hair yeah here we are and now it's in that weird like in between half dry half wet so it looks kind of funny but this is what i would do before like an event for the holidays to have my hair looking really nice is do like a deep conditioning kind of treatment before I wash my hair because then it's just gonna be extra like shiny and nourished looking. So I use the Way Fine to Medium Hair Treatment Mask. I've gone through a bunch of these. It smells so good and your ends will thank you. They just feel way softer and nice and I have such dry hair. So I left this on for like probably over two hours, like as long as you can. I just leave that on the ends. You also can just use it in the shower as like a deep conditioning moment as well, like after your shampoo. So I do that. Then you guys know, detox shampoo from Way, my favorite clarifying shampoo ever. Gets all the buildup out of your hair. And it's so good after like a mask like that to just like reset everything to baseline. But you know what I need to get again that I used up is the Way anti-dandruff shampoo because I use my bottle. It's like the light blue bottle and there's hyaluronic acid in there I know, which just really helps like soothe your scalp and again since i have just such dry skin i have a dry scalp as well and like literally like clockwork as it's getting so cold and dry and like snowing outside i am noticing like such a dry like flaky scalp and i'm like oh i need to get that shampoo again so that is like top of my list next time i go to the store you guys know i'm literally the number one fan then i use their leave-in conditioner literally all my hair care products are way they're just so high quality and so nice and make such a good gift this holiday season also like a non-negotiable for me my hair care products is having heat protectant because again i'm on my hair health journey you guys are already being so sweet being like it looks healthier and fuller thank you i've been literally doing everything under the sun to make it look nicer so yes heat protecting in here and i also know way has a new gloss treatment which i am so excited to try it's really like a gloss treatment that you could get at the salon but at home you just leave it in your hair in the shower for five minutes and it just makes it look extra shiny just helps repair that damage makes your hair look a lot healthier also has heat protectant in there as well for up to 450 degrees 
so I cannot wait to get my hands on that. I think that also has hyaluronic acid as well, just like so good for your hair. Lastly, their hair oil. <laughs> Talk about all their products all day long. This one in specific smells so good. Also has heat protectant. Also makes your hair look shiny and nourished and really nice, especially on the ends. You know what? Since my hair is like pretty dry on the ends anyway right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this all through the ends of my hair because I think I might just blow dry it a little bit. <laughs> of course, I'm like, I'm focusing on the health of my hair and then I like end up drain it a lot but it looks so much better and i feel like stays nicer looking after i wash my hair if i just like finish blow drying it and already when it's a lot of the way dry like this i feel like it's like less damage so can someone let me know and i saw a girl the other day on tiktok be like if i blow dry my hair after the shower i feel like it doesn't get greasy and dirty as quick like it stays cleaner looking longer which i agree so anyway, that's that. Those are my favorite hair care products. You guys are definitely not surprised. I've shared those a bunch. But I thought this was the perfect time to mention the holiday season, make the best gifts ever. Great product. So especially if you want to try out their new gloss treatment, all my favorites, I'll have way linked down below. If you go to theway.com, that's T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com slash G-G, you'll get 15% off your purchase. My link is always stayed the same. Theway.com slash G-G for 15% off your purchase. And now what I didn't tell you guys is what I did this morning with my hair mask sitting in. I thought it was gonna be quick and painless and it wasn't. And I thought maybe I could just tell you right here now, share my story in case any of you relate and know you're not alone. So long story short, I was like, okay, I'm having a self-care morning. You know, I'm putting myself first, doing a hair mask, lit a candle, made a coffee. I'm like, this is so great. Like, you know what I'm gonna tackle my to-do list that I've been putting off that I need to do is call around and really make an effort to make a primary care appointment, like established care, new patient kind of Appointment. And I was getting a taste the other day of how difficult this is because it's so hard to A, find a doctor that's accepting new patients and B, find a doctor that's accepting new patients anytime soon. And I didn't realize that like booking a normal appointment is so different than like getting a doctor to be your doctor. It just takes so long and they're so booked out and yeah like the other day all my friends and family that had primary cares that they love that they recommended i would call i would go online and none of them are accepting new patients and i was so frustrated i was crying i was like wait now i'm actually making an effort to find a doctor it's been so long i have things i want to get looked at if you guys saw my life update i'm like i'm making an effort this is great and i spent so much time and to no avail like it was so frustrating i'm like okay i'm going a little nuts so i'm gonna table this for another day this morning i was feeling brave i'm like i'm not gonna give up i'm just gonna call around till i find some availability here we go and i literally had like a mental breakdown because i was just like this is so beyond frustrating and so sad and i'd wait on hold forever and then they would be like oh no this doctor actually isn't taking new patients or like oh we're booked out through next august i'm like okay like it would say online we're accepting new patients and i would call i would wait on hold they're not accepting new patients i would be like okay I called at least 10 doctors and finally I found one that was booked through next August and I was like, you know what? Put me on your schedule for next August because it was the only one I could even find that I could get on the schedule. For the meantime, maybe I'll try urgent care, going other routes, like more specialized doctors. Literally one of them felt so bad for me. I actually still have a gynecologist back home and have like my annual there coming up in January and she was like, actually, if you have like a more specialized doctor, like a gynecologist or something, they usually can get you in quicker. They might be able to prescribe things that they normally wouldn't. Like she was just trying to like help me out. I'm like, oh my God. So if any of you are like 26 years old, trying to find a new doctor, move to a new place and trying to like establish care, it is so challenging. And I didn't realize how hard it was. And I'm right there with you. So I'm doing better now. I was like, I need to shower, take some deep breaths, do meditation. But I was like, oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. Like I could just, it just makes me really sad. Our healthcare system, not to get into all that whole debate, that I'm like, people could literally be calling for like very urgent issues. And even then she was like, okay, if it's like very urgent, we could probably do like March. And I'm like, like, that is like a full like three four months and if someone is like really struggling with something and they're like trying to look for help the fact that they can get I'm gonna cry like it makes me so sad and I know there's like urgent care and emergency room and stuff like that but it just makes me sad like for myself a little bit but mostly for people that are like going through harder things than me if they like can't access care it just makes me really sad so that was this morning we're doing better yeah Okay, we're gonna blow dry my hair. That's gonna make me feel better. Doing little things, like self-care things like that for myself are making me feel better. And it's time of feeling like <sighs> chicken with my head cut off. I don't know. Okay, I knew that would make me feel a lot better. And it did. Nothing beats the feeling of like fresh, clean, Hair, we're doing good. Thank you. 
later made a little vanilla latte and this is like pretty freaking delicious if i do say so myself i feel like the milk was going everywhere and i was just trying to froth it if anyone has tips for me they have this nespresso not nespresso breville espresso machine let me know because i'm still like new ish to it i feel like i've perfected the ice vanilla latte because that's what i typically do but i was like weirdly in the mood for a hot one i like never do the hot frothing the milk is like the hard part i think oh this is so good and I almost did what I did yesterday was made like a latte but instead of the vanilla syrup did this cinnamon bun one shout out my bestie Hannah she got this for me she's like this made me think of you and I'm like you are so cute we literally on our last drop of vanilla so that was like perfect timing I made a vanilla I guess like a cinnamon roll van not vanilla cinnamon roll cinnamon bun latte yesterday but then I just went back to the vanilla for the hot one so yes so good. Okay, my arm is hurting holding this up out. I think I've been doing a lot of shoulders. <laughs> I was also going to say, I don't think I showed you guys, but for Max's my anniversary here, I like last minute grabbed us these mugs at Target, Mrs. and Mr. But they're like kind of cheesy, but I also was like, okay, cute. We love the gold and the white, and we actually had no mugs here for our house for the hockey season. So I was like, okay, we actually like need mugs anyway whenever I want like a tea or a hot chocolate or a hot coffee, so... Later, I'm just running some errands now. I feel like how it's like, cause it's like rainy and dreary. I guess the coffee didn't do much. That also is gonna be dark out soon. It's like almost four. So yes, I just got two Walgreens. Hopefully they have what I'm looking for. We shall see. Okay, that was quick and easy. There's my little Walgreens haul. Basically, how this all started is I was thinking tomorrow I have a laser hair removal appointment. And basically, you can't have any sun exposure or anything like that. Even self-tan, you can't have. And I self-tanned maybe like two weeks ago. Normally, I try to do it like right after treatment because you wait five or four, four or five weeks in between a treatment. So then it's like mostly off all the way. But I still feel like it's on my skin a little bit. And I was like, oh, I don't want that to be a problem tomorrow. So I was Googling like how do I get rid of self tanner and it was like number one see if you can find a self tan remover which I forgot that that's a thing I remember seeing that loving tan had that a while back and I always do like loving tan self tanner but I was like it's literally tomorrow I don't have time to order that it's not gonna come in time so then I saw they had one at Walgreens and I found it it's Bondi sand self tan eraser instant self tan remover gentle foaming cleanser so it must be like a certain like ingredient in here that gets rid of self tanner so you see how that goes also I know I have like a exfoliating glove from Loving Tan for self tanning, but I want to say it's on the cape. Like, I just could not find it. So, I found these bath and shower gloves. Like, they seem like exfoliating kind of gloves. So, hopefully, that helps. And then, lastly, I was like, oh my gosh, good thing I remembered because I literally just ran out of this earlier when I was doing my makeup. Lumify Eye Drops. The best, you guys. I cannot do my makeup without these. Like, literally every day now. Even when I'm not wearing makeup, I always do these because my eyes get so red. And in my opinion, these just make your makeup look a lot better. Your eyes just like pop and look really crisp. Big I barely got a full drop earlier maybe we'll do some right now basically they're just whitening eye drops and you can't go back once you start doing them i actually feel like I was introduced a while ago shout out brooke michio love you miss you it was actually her mom that i remember telling me about these because when she would go on tv for work i just remember her saying these are like the best and so i like them ever since of course i can't open this little plastic thing oh here we go almost there and i feel like i had them a little bit and i wouldn't use them that much because i didn't really deal with red eyes yet and then in the past like couple years my eyes would get really really red and so yeah like sometimes for no reason and i would look a little crazy so these help a ton if you have eye redness sorry if this is like gross oh whoa i missed my eyeball whoops is that even going i can't like see this here Whoa! <laughs> I think that one got two. <laughs> I mean, you're like far away. It's hard to see. But I'm so used to it now. Love these. These are the best. So, there's our little Walgreens haul. Ooh, I feel like I'm such a CVS girl. This is unlike me because I've always done like CVS pharmacy. So, yeah. Lastly, I thought we can conclude with, I know I was complaining about finding a doctor earlier, which I did not realize what a struggle that was. I've kind of been like beating around the bush and I felt like I've had a cold for a while, so that's one thing. But like, I feel like the main thing, I started to feel like I was going a little crazy with just 
mental struggles and I just wanted to be real because I feel like it's something that I've dealt with for a while and then it's kind of like gotten worse since you guys know the struggles that I was going through when we moved here and just feeling very like isolated lonely not in the groove and i will say that it's gotten a hundred times better just like meeting the girls here making plans with them socializing stuff like that i'm feeling a lot better and like i'm like gaining that community to lean on which is crazy because i posted that video and then i feel like right after that we started like going to workout classes i was like going to coffee with my pilates instructor you know and i'm just like i feel so much better like doing things around here being social whatever so i'm doing better however i feel like i've been struggling mentally for a while in little ways and then it's kind of just like gotten worse over time and i feel like i've said for a while well, I am quite certain I have ADHD, but I'm not trying to like diagnose myself without a doctor diagnosing you Which I think is about to happen very soon because I'm finally putting an effort to be like Gretchen You need to take care of yourself and it's been so long and there's been like so many signs that you have that But I never want to like say like this is what I have because I don't want to offend people Yeah, basically what I didn't tell you guys is maybe some things I've shared here and there but I Constantly like honestly for my whole life feel very easily overwhelmed and I hate that feeling like you could add one little task to my to-do list one thing to my plate and i literally have a freak out and that's something i don't like about myself there's all these like little things that i'm like is it anxiety because i'll get very like anxious feeling but then i think worrying a lot maybe is like a part of adhd where my head hits the pill this is the thing my friends was were like oh that is not us like their head hits the pill and they fall asleep i'm okay sleeping through the night but i have such a hard time falling asleep and like getting myself to calm down i have a really hard time like winding down at night getting myself to relax like i could just stay awake all night and right as my head hits the pillow I'm like this and I'm worrying like crazy and I think crazy thoughts and I feel like I can't even control myself to like be like Christian relax like this is this is pattern this is happening every night like you can't allow yourself to fall asleep you're worried like crazy worries that sometimes you don't even have during the day and they keep you up and you're so like oh my gosh like in my own head like questioning everything and it's like a horrible feeling those are kind of like the main things not being able to focus be productive like little things like that i got a dm from one of you being like i'm so close in age i'm 25 i just got diagnosed with adhd like later in life like not really like for the first time she's like i started medication and it has changed my life already like she's like i didn't realize and this one like hit home for me she was like i didn't realize that it being really hard to stay on a schedule to like wake up brush my teeth eat breakfast do things like it shouldn't be that hard and i relate to that so much and i'm just like okay whoa this is my sign so then that's what was really frustrating trying to find a doctor feeling like okay i'm finally ready to like get care and i can't even do that and i am feeling better now because i do have a primary care appointment coming up i hope this is a good fit and she'll be my primary care for years to come but that is like next summer that is so far away because that's how it is so then i was like i literally will do anything to see a doctor right now i just really feel like i need to talk to someone about like everything i'm feeling going through and be looked at diagnosed by like a medical professional right so yes basically i'm gonna see a psychiatrist i don't know if i like should be sharing all of it i don't want to like be like too personal i don't know i'm not gonna be like welcome to my psych psychiatric evaluation you know but i think that's gonna make me feel a lot better because i'm like i feel like i'm going off the rails here calling all these places like crying feeling so frustrated when like i can't get an appointment whatever i was like i just don't feel okay and sometimes i don't feel like myself which is really disorienting i was talking about that and i've loved this day when i like don't want to cry and be emotional but there is a light at the end of the tunnel i'm feeling better because i am going to see a psychiatrist soon basically i'm saying all of this too because if you feel like oh maybe i have this maybe i have that maybe this is worth getting looked at like it's definitely worth getting looked at because already they sent over like oh we have some forms you're gonna fill out before your appointment they're in your email whatever and you guys like just before i left for errands i was looking at them filling it out and i was like in shock some of the questions i'm like are they inside my brain like this is literally for me like i felt like my free page on tiktok we're like this is for me like it would be so specific it would be like difficulty winding down at night racing thoughts in your brain i'm like how do they know I'm like hmm, this is pretty good indication this is like probably what i'm going through so though it was like all these questions whatever and then i have like an eval coming soon so i don't yeah i don't know what is right to share and not share because i've never been on like any sort of medication maybe if i'm prescribed medication or not like i can share that i don't know that might be weird like i even felt for a while i would be like i'm on the birth control pill had a great experience and i never wanted to say like what exact pill i was on because everyone has a different experience right on every medication so i didn't want to be like i recommend this one but then after a while i was like okay i would take lolo by the way and i love that pill so much because i was on a different one before so then i was like okay i feel like confident and like i want to share this because i made a switch and it's my favorite birth control pill i think it's the best for like a number of reasons so yeah i guess we'll see like what all of that looks like but that's kind of a little taste of the struggles i've been going through mentally and 
there's a light at the end of the tunnel we're working our way there and i'm feeling better that there's like a game plan and help ahead and maybe that looks like just talking with like psychiatrist and her being like no i don't think you need medication blah 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 so i'm just excited to talk to someone about it because it'll be like the first time ever so yeah aside from like a therapist who will help with like mental tools of how to like cope with things and whatever but i'm like okay if i will really benefit from medication i need to like not be scared of that and i feel like it, the world is so much better with like the stigma of medication and stuff but like i just feel like deep down in my head like i was talking to max about it and i was like i need to let go of the fear of medication or i just feel like i've always told myself like okay you probably deal with this but just like ugh, i don't know how to describe what i'm thinking like i've always told myself just like be strong gretchen like you recognize that you're like a scatterbrain like doing everything halfway like you're cleaning this halfway leave it cleaning that halfway leave it and i can't focus but i'm just like i need to just have like better self-discipline like i feel like i'm just like hard on myself being like well gretchen just like be an adult just like be productive just figure it out and be better but i'm like this it's so hard i feel like i'm like fighting how my brain is working so anyway i just wanted to like be honest because i'm <laughs> being so vague i'm like i need a doctor's appointment and like not saying why so that's kind of what's going on just to be real but this vlog is getting so long i'm gonna end off this video here oh my gosh did i not even say earlier i don't even even th I was thinking this all day how I wanted to say question of the day sorry right here at the very end unless this is the second time I'm saying it but question of the day is if you guys already started present shopping or have you not by the time this goes up you probably have or have you not yet because literally just today I was like oh my gosh I have like a list of things I want to get and I like just started ordering today like I have not done a thing I'm feeling very behind this year so I need to get on that you guys last minute shoppers did you get on Black Friday really early that wasn't me this year I'm feeling so behind but love you guys thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one bye